season on Oklahoma Gardening, we're trying to highlight the various roles that go into local foods. We're talking with farmers, we're talking with co-ops, food banks, and all the different facets of where people can get their local food and how it comes to be available to you, the consumer. Today we're here at Arctic Farms in Blanchard, Oklahoma, and joining me is Andrea Parks. And Andrea, you got into this and you grow things hydroponically here. We do. Why did you choose to go with the hydroponic system? Um, we really like how it's environmentally responsible. Um, also, in a controlled environment like this, we can really control almost all the, the variables that uh, you have to deal with with traditional farming. So it makes it uh, more consistent. There are a lot of variables in the a Oklahoma lot. climate. <laughs> Most definitely. So you've got tomatoes growing behind us here. They're beautiful tomatoes uh, and also some cu cucumbers, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us what kind of tomatoes you're growing here? Um, we're growing a variety of beefsteak, um, and they're just good mid-range sized uh, tomatoes generally for slicing. Okay, and they're indeterminate, and obviously we have a, a height maximum here. So how do. do you kind of manage that? Um, we do a process called leaning and lowering where we just kind of, uh, we first of all vine them on a string. And so we control everything by that string. So um, the plants are a little bit fragile. We don't really handle the stems. So we handle the strings and just sort of lean them and then lower them at the same time. And they just wrap around the base of all the, the, uh, the whole row here. Okay, they're quite long as a vine already. How long have these been growing? They've been growing since um, July last year. Okay. And we'll replace them this summer as well. And uh, they, they could reach uh, heights of 30 feet. So you get a full year growth mm -hmm. out of these tomatoes. And we is do. that kind of the prime time that you'll get produce off of them then? Is that why um, you replace them? We do, we have a peak uh, right after they first start going into production. And then it kind of slows down in the winter time when there's less light. And then um, again in the spring when the light starts, the days start to get longer, um, we start to see another peak. And then they kind of slow down after that. So. Excellent. So you mainly just grow beef beefsteak, but then behind us here, we also have some lettuce, different types of lettuce you're growing. We do. We do. Um, we have 1,400 uh, lettuce positions. We grow greens and lettuce and bok choy and uh, kind of a whole variety of leafy greens. So you get a pretty quick turnaround on that when you... Um, ideally in the summer when every, all the conditions are right, so we do um, about, it's about 45 days. Okay. Uh, in the wintertime, that slows down too. Okay, and that's obviously on a hydroponic system as well, so Correct. you're controlling all the nutrients in the water. Right. And are they in like a rock wool? They are, they're in a rock wool, uh, this substance here. Okay. It's kind of like a felty type of substance that we put the seeds in and then germinate the seeds and then we transplant them into the channels over here. Okay, so if somebody's interested in your produce, how could they get a hold of it? Um, well, we're at the Oklahoma Food Co-op, which is a once a month Oklahoma-wide delivery. Um, and then we do the OSU OKC Farmers Market um, it, on Portland mm -hmm. in the city. And that's every Saturday year round. Excellent. Well, thank you for inviting us into your uh, greenhouse today. Well, thank you. We appreciate y'all coming. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.